Welcome to part four of my Ableton Basics series. Today we're going to learn the basic way to run tracks in Ableton Live. Well, let's go. All right, welcome to what I believe is part four of my Ableton Basics series. Today I'm going to show you how to run tracks in Ableton Live in Session View in a very simple way. So I'm not going to show you anything too crazy, but if you just want to start out with backing tracks, this is the easiest way to do it. If you're interested in this kind of thing, please subscribe, like, uh, share it if this would be helpful for someone else. Um, I've been using Ableton Live a long time. Uh, I love it. I enjoy it. I'm hoping I can save you some time along the way. So we're going to pull up the session we've already been working on. And I'm going to leave. Um, I'm going to leave what we already have alone. Song one, song two, song three. We're going to pretend those are just clips or just clicks that we might want. But maybe we have a song where we want a backing track. So here's what we're going to do for that. I'm going to open my finder and I would suggest you keep all your tracks um, in one folder on your computer. I'm going to go to my RB working drive here. I'm going to go to loops and I'm going to find... Uh, this song right here, Call Upon the Lord. We're going to do that. And I simply have two tracks. I have Call Upon the Lord, which is the loop track. Everything's, you know, mixed together there. And I have a guide track. So we need to make some extra tracks over here to accommodate that. I need to make two audio tracks. Insert audio track. Insert audio track. And then I'm going to name these. Guide. And I'm going to name this one Loop. And then I'm going to insert a scene for this song by right-clicking and hitting Insert Scene. I can see that my track is at 161 beats per minute. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to change it to 161. Uh, my click is going to be 4-4. Four, four. And then I'm going to drag in the... Oh, I'm going to do one step first. Intro. I'm going to, I know it sounds weird. I'm going to play the song first to get live's tempo, the 161 where I want it. Pull in the guide. Drag in the track, hit play. Let's see if it lines up. Intro. Two. Oh, hit stop on everything first. Hit play. Intro. Two, three, four. All right, everything's lining up. So it wasn't lining up at first. It's because Ableton Live's um, transport wasn't on one from something I had been working on earlier, but now it should be good. Here's our last and final step. Make sure you hit play first and then shift, click both clips, highlight both clicks, come click down here, and then we are going to hit warp. Um, keep it on beats, that's all good. So that should, if that warps correctly, which it should, Intro, two, three, it should be locked into four. the grid now. All right, it's locked into the grid. So um, I'm going to move these tracks over to the left hand side because that makes sense to me. And then I'm going to rename it, Call Upon the Lord. I'm going to route the output to external out 2. I'm going to pretend we're using a headphone jack. So that'll be coming out the right side. And then our click, um, this is our click on off, our count in. That's for if we only have, um, that can come out of output to 1, our left side. That's for if we only, um, we need a MIDI count in and not the audio guide I already have. Going to route my pad to two cues here, and then let's let's just organize this a little bit. Let's put our dummy clip all the way over here if we need it. Let's put our guide and count in together, and then let's put our our click over here with the dummy thing. That makes sense. A so guide, count in, loop, loop and pads. That all makes sense to me now. And here's what we could do if we wanted. We could pull a pad in if we wanted. We could have a pad and that track. Um, we could send those out of different outputs. So here's a pad. All right, so we're gonna pull a pad in right here and B flat. Intro, two, three, four. Now you've got a drone pad running, you've got the count in running, or you've got the track running and when I hit stop, the track, um, the pad fades out, which is cool. All right, so that's how you add tracks in a very basic view um, in Ableton Live. That's just one loop track, but you, if you have multi-tracks, you could extend that out to whatever instrument you need. Thank you for watching.